are all lost in the current. Hey, what's going on, guys? Corn Metal Promotions here with the first ever album review that I'm going to do on this channel. Uh, really quick before I start this review, I just want to give a shout out to everyone who has submitted an album for me to review. I will be getting all into them as soon as I can. Balancing work and music and all that is kind of getting really hard, but I've been wanting to do this for a long time and I feel like right now, especially with the whole coronavirus and how the world's going right now, I feel like it's just the best time to do it. So um, anyways, I want to say thank you to all of them and I want to say thank you to anyone who was going to help me get this to where I want to go. I don't even want this to be this huge monumental thing. I just want this to be something I can just do with shows, do interviews with, uh, help fans out. That's all I really want to do in the scene is just help fans out. That's all I really want to do. But um, yeah, we're going to get right into it. Uh, we got the brand new record EP from Lost in the Current. Lost in the Current is a brand new band. Uh, they've been around since uh, I think 2018, I believe 2018, 2019, and uh, they are. For, if you like Pantera meets that hardcore beatdown stuff of like OG Noxley's, I feel like Lost in the Current's definitely for you. Uh, they just dropped their first EP recently, and it's a great EP. Uh, but we're gonna get to the review right now. So, anyways, let's get into it. The first song, the intro. We are all lost in the current. The intro, very short. You definitely can tell it's an intro, but it gets you hyped up. Uh, when I saw these dudes live for the two times I've seen them live, uh, and they, it just hyped me up. It's like, we are all lost in the current. It makes you just go, <sighs> makes you want to swing you know and that's something that I always find good on intros is that if it gets you hyped up or if it gets you going like okay what's next then I feel like that's successful as an intro and I definitely feel like they hit the nail on the head with this one so intro great track great intro track uh, great way to start the record next up we got the song the first single off the record sweet deceiver Talking to Biscuit, Steve is the lead singer. We call him Biscuit. Uh, but uh, I was talking to Biscuit about uh, the first song, and he was telling me uh, it was, he wrote lyrics and everything. It was a very quick song, and uh, I'm not going to say that it shows, but um, it's a really great song. Instrumentals are, mwah. Steve sounds amazing on this for it being his first song. But uh, I, I'm not gonna say, I'm not trying to downsize the band from it on this one, but I feel like you could definitely feel like some of the lyrics could have been better used. Uh, and some of the people that have told me have also said things like that too, like the lyrics just feel like they were kind of rushed. And you know, it's your first song, you know, I've had in bands that I've played with it for the first time I'm writing a song, I'm very eager, tempted to write my first song, but don't discourage you, the lyrics are actually pretty good for them being so very early on. Uh, does it hinder the song? No, but to some people it does hinder the song a little bit, and that's where it kind of gets lost in the muddle there, but Sweet Deceiver actually goes hard. This breakdown, it goes from a harsh reality. It just makes you want to throw fists. Instrumentals are just amazing on this. Uh, the intro is just like... <sighs> It just it really gets you going. There's a lot of two-steppy parts, but there's also a lot of parts where you just want to crowd kill your cat. Uh, it's a great song, great, mwah, great mwah, masterpiece on the album, if you would say. I genuinely personally like the song. Uh, I really do like the song. I listen to it from time to time. It's in my playlist. But um, some people have told me that I've shown the song. They feel like it just kind of felt too rushed at with lyrics. And and I've also had one person say. Uh, the instrumentals were rushed, but I do gotta say I genuinely enjoy the song and for a first single I think they put out the right single. So definitely go listen to Sweet Deceiver. Next up we got Empty Hands Closed Fists. Let's 
All right, it's a very aggressive borderline slam in some of the parts. Uh, it just really it makes you go, ooh, ooh, shit, ooh, ooh. It just it just makes you groove, and I, that's that's one thing I like about slam. It just makes you groove. It just makes you din din din. And I feel like I love the parts that borderline slam in this song. It makes you just want to go. <laughs> I don't like to dance, but this song really just made me, <laughs> made me groove. But uh, yeah, Empty Hands, Close Fist, and the breakdown, very aggressive, very hard hitting. I definitely love that song. Uh, may Again, made me want to crowd kill my cat, but I don't have a cat. Uh, explains a lot of things. Uh, but yeah, Empty Hands, Close Fist, definitely go check it out if you're a fan of like the more beat down, slammier style of heavy, uh, metal, deathcore, or whatever. Of course, to cut repose, but yeah, go to definitely check out that song if you're in more like the aggressive, slammy, I want to break shit just because Limp Bizkit told me to kind of thing. Definitely go check that out. Uh, the next song is Blank Check. work is do 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 it has that little twang to it uh definitely a great way to start off the song i love blank check uh again that's just another song i throw up from time to time i like that intro his vocals on here are probably the be the best they sound on the whole record uh personally to me that's what i feel like it is they just sound the best on the whole record uh it's just it, this album this song is what i feel like lost in the current is the song in general it's very groovy uh the breakdown hits at the end you can it just ooh, 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 ooh. it's it's a great little small breakdown definitely gets the point across uh i would have to say probably this or the next song on the record is uh, probably the best on the album next to Sweet Deceiver, but definitely I'd have to say Blank Check is the best one. And it shows, you know, they posted live videos and it was like one of the most li viewed live video. So definitely, and Tommy does some great stuff on bass on this one. So does everyone else in the band. Uh, definitely, mwah, 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 mwah. sus. Anyways, next up we got the last track on the album, Mind Over Malice. This is another very groovy song. It goes up. It, it just makes you groove. It just makes you go, <laughs> okay, as Hardcore Team would say. Yeah, very good stuff. Uh, it, in the middle of the song, it turns into this like hardcore 
if you are a fan of Pantera, I would definitely say, go check out the last song. The last song sounds very Pantera-ish. That's what it sounds like. Very, very hard heading, hitting song. Uh, Pantera vibes all around, or at least that's what I pulled from it. A lot of Pantera with the groove. And even Steve Bis Biscuit. I, you know what, Steve? I'm sorry. I can never pronounce your last name. That's why I call you Biscuit. But um, uh, his, vo his vocals sound like Randy Blythe means like scour not scour phil but it just means like phil on style from pantera scour or whatever he's doing now uh yeah but uh that's what mine over malice is great groovy song I definitely definitely love it all right now we're gonna get to the review uh i give this album an eight out of ten uh some of the pros i would have to say is the record for being so very early on in a band's career uh, the first record really makes or breaks a band, or at least that's what happened to me and I've seen with a lot of other bands, and I feel like they definitely hit it on the head with the first EP. Uh, their songwriting is good, instrumentals are amazing, and great songs make a great EP. Um, that That's just obvious, and there's not one bad song on here. Uh, so definitely, those are some of the pros. Cons. Now, this is something that I feel like kind of hindered the album a hair for me. Uh, the album is too short. Uh, what I mean album is too short is, in an album, you want to keep listening all the way through. And you want to you wanna keep that energy going until you're like, okay, okay, okay. And uh, I just feel like the aggressiveness that was coming from the album, every time I listen to the album in full, uh, last year, I listened to the album a couple days ago, actually, and I actually haven't heard this album before that in, like, a couple weeks uh, because I lost my Spotify premium for a while and I couldn't pick my own songs. But, uh, yeah, I couldn't listen to it all, all the way through. And the and I remembered a couple of the songs, but I, didn't, I couldn't remember when the album ended. And then Mind Over Malice ended, and I was like, is it? Okay. So uh, I definitely feel like that kind of not destroyed or hinder the album i just feel like if an album is too short it can leave a person going i want more more because we're all greedy bastards and uh obese in america so uh and there's one other thing in the mix uh again this is something that other people have brought up to me too the there's a lot of what the snare or at least that's what people have told me uh, i didn't really hear it at first you know it never really got me but um and the more I listen to it, I can understand what people are saying. I just feel like there was a lot of room on the snare. But the drums, other than that, are mixed perfectly. Uh, but that's just my critique and a critique I've heard of others. Uh, definitely, definitely, though, that does not hinder the album. I just feel like, though, this one that the one thing that does kind of, like, push back the rating a little bit is that the album is too short. Uh, and it just kind of, it doesn't throw off the whole vibe. It just leaves you wanting more. Which can be a good thing or which can lead to a bad thing. I've heard bands leave making albums way too short and they're like... What? Yeah, people get mad that albums are too short, so I guess that's a con. And I can understand why it did leave me wanting more. So, um, yeah. But anyways, 8 out of 10 record, Lost in the Current. Definitely go check out the album. All the links are down below. Uh, there's Spotify, uh, Bandcamp, everything, merch. Uh... Also, I am doing a Spotify playlist now, and every time I review a band, their best song I feel like is going to go right into the album, right into the playlist. And uh, if you do want to get on the Spotify uh, the Spotify playlist, I am on Instagram on Core Metal Promotions, CNM Promotions on Instagram, Core Metal Promotions on Facebook. Go message me on there, and we can definitely work something out. Uh, the next record I will be doing is the Abducted U.S. They are a brand new EP off uh, Chuck Core Promotions. Uh, I'm going to be doing that next here pretty soon, but thank you guys. Thank you for checking out my uh, channel. Go send some love to Lost in the Current. Those boys definitely deserve it. Thanks, guys. Have a nice day.